Hi, my name is Glenn Hustleman. I'm just making this video for new free accounting software users to in introduce our um, new desktop product and um, explain some of the security aspects because it's quite important to understand. Um, so I've just got the, the software here and I'll just click on it to start it up um, and I'll shrink this window size down to fit the, the area. Okay, so I'm going to create a new free accounting software identity. And this is just a test, um, but I'll just put my name there. Create a password. It's probably best you actually put your full details because they're used in um, um, as default in the um, tax returns and so on. But anyway, for this purpose, I'll just leave it as that. And um, save it in this file. Okay. So now we've created the identity, so I'll just go and have a look at it. Um, you can edit it and put more details there and you should fill in these things um, but for um, our purposes just to explain what it is a um, few public certificates so essentially it's a digital certificate that protects the file so the file is encrypted and um, that's your public certificate so let's let's go and create a file so in fact um, the identity file is separate to your business file, so it's actually two separate files. So um, let me create a new file for a business. Um, just create um, another test. Okay, so save that file there. And so basically now um, there's three files in here. The first file is actually the software. The second file is the identity file that I've created. And that's your digital certificate. And the third file is the um, business file that will hold the transactions for your, or tax returns for your business. So you, you would have, um, you could have several business files one for each client and one for each financial year. Um, they can all be opened with the one identity file. Okay, so now let's see which identities have access to this file. This is just a sort of newly created file with nothing in it. Um, and in fact, there's two here that have access to it. The first one um, is the identity I just created and the second one is um, something that I've uh, added by default so whenever you create a file in free accounting software it, it adds this digital certificate um, to it so um, and you can add other certificates to it um, in fact yeah so having a look at that that's the digital certificate there um, that's been automatically added to it uh, and what it does is it actually gives me access to the file um, so you know obviously it's stored on your computer so I can't access it but if you were to send it to me I'd be able to open it so if I go back to the file access list this is the the identity I've just created and this is a um, default identity now if you don't want me to be able to do that and you um, don't ever intend to send me the file then you can just select that thing and um, delete it okay so now there's only one identity which has access to this file okay so um, now let's say you have uh, another person that you're working with it could be the business 
owner or an employee or something and you want to give them access well um, first of all they need to create an identity so I'll just exit the software here um, and uh, start it up again so they would start up the software and they would create an identity um, and I'll just um, put a different name here um, and pick a password Okay, so now I've just um, saved that new identity into this file here. Okay. Um, now, in fact, let's see this. If I go open and I try to open this um, file that we um, just created a moment ago which I had in here um, open uh, it's not really a good error message but it won't let me open that file okay um, so let's see how we address that and clicked on um, my FAS identity um, and I'm actually logged in as um, or that identity that I've just created which was called John um, and I click view public certificate so this certificate needs to get added to the file so I'll just uh, take a copy of that um, certificate in fact, I'll just move this out of the way there and um, start up the software again. And in this case, I'm going to unlock the first identity that I created. and then I can open the file, the business file. So this identity has access to that file because it created it. So that's the file, open it up. Cool. So go to the file access and there's only one user who has access there and click add access certificate now we'll go and copy that um, certificate so um, in this case I've just um, um, created both of these identities on the one computer but um, you'd probably have them working somewhere else so they would email you or otherwise transfer this um, text to you uh, and it's it's safe that's a public key so it's safe to transfer that by email and then just click add certificate to file okay and then back to the list so we can see that um, there's two users here who have access to this um, file so I'll just exit there bring this other instance of the software back so this is the one where I'm actually logged in as John. Um, so now I'll click open, um, go to that business file there and open it up. So now um, you can see that 
uh, I was previously not able to open the file but now that the uh, certificate has been added to it um, I am able to open it so um, you know this is a quite a secure way um, to be sharing files it's important to understand how it works so that you can um, you can uh, you know make it work for you and and also not lose um, data by stuffing it up um, all right well I uh, hope it's been useful and thanks for watching